For those of you who are familiar with Ingo Tietz's straw video exercises, and they have been helpful, I have a few tips for you to help your conditioning and strength and endurance even further. You can use a long, thin straw. This is two string straws taped together. You can use a straw anywhere from one to four millimeters in diameter. And you can use it in water. You can find a household water bottle about 16 ounces and fill it to about 10 centimeters in depth. So about where the label is. Maximum resistance exercises, I would call it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but that's really the point. For those people who really want to get to that point where they were singing or, or speaking for very long periods of time on a regular basis and they were conditioned to that, this is a great way to get them back into that conditioning and really using those, those muscles and coordinating. I want to try another thing and expound even more on the straw video and let's um, do kind of the sing-songy part of speech um, and bring in some speech tasks. And, um, or, or what we call prosody. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and, and do a little bit of what you might do uh, if you were t uh, telling the nursery rhyme the three bears. With a papa bear voice, someone's been sleeping in my bed. Mama bear voice, where someone's been sleeping in my bed. And then baby bear's a little bit upset and angry, so a little yelling might be okay with this high resistance. Yelling to the straw? Yeah, whoa, we're going to give it a on. try. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I like that you included the emotion because I think that's really important in our speech that we need to have the emotion in, um, in these tasks to bring that into real life. If you need more help, contact a speech pathologist that specializes in voice. We call that person a vocologist. Okay? And we want to end this by giving you a little good goodbye. Uh, let's see. Ready? Mm -hmm.